guys. Last Sunday, which was the 8th of November, I went up to London to go and see The Amazing Tour Is Not On Fire. Now, I know lots of people have already done their tatting off the experience videos, but I wanted to share my experience as well, so let's get started! I had VIP tickets to the 7.30 showing, which meant the doors opened for VIP at 5.15, but I got to the theatre around 4.15, just because I wanted to see if I could find anyone to chat to because I was going on my own. Now, I did actually find a couple of girls to chat to who were sat outside the theatre on the steps, and they were really sweet and nice, and one of them actually gave me their artwork to go and give to Dan, because none of them were on VIP, they were just on standard tickets. So, at about 5.15, they started letting everybody into the VIP room. The VIP room itself, at this particular venue, was just the upstairs kind of bar area, and there was bean bags and drinks and cushions, and just a really nice, general kind of atmosphere, to be honest. I mean... It was quite a small room, so when everyone was in, it was quite jam-packed, but it wasn't claustrophobic feeling. So, once you're up in the room, they also have a guest book you can sign, which I went over and signed, which is where I met Katie, who also was on her own, and I spent most of the evening chatting to. It was around 5.45 that Dan and Phil came up the stairs, said hi to everyone, and then went behind the screen they were going to be greeting everybody at. So, at that point, everyone kind of got into a nice, organised line, and I was about the fourth person in line to go and meet Dan and Phil. So, obviously, people in front of me went, and then it was finally my turn to go round the screen and go and meet them. I went round the corner, and Phil was already there, arms open, ready to hug me, so I hugged him, hugged Dan, they both asked me how I was, and the only thing I said was, really freaking out right now that I'm going to say something really stupid, and they both laughed at that. I then gave them my artwork that I'd done, and Phil said it was really cute, and then also the artwork of the girl I met outside, and Dan said it was really sweet that I'd brought it in for her, so... Dan actually got to see the art. Phil then asked me if I'd like to get my book signed, which I did, and I got this page signed, but you can't really see that well, but yes, this is the page I decided to get signed, and Dan said it was a very, very good page to get signed. After getting my book signed, they asked if I wanted a selfie, which of course I'd be stupid not to say yes to that, so I got my selfie with them, and I also, if you know, my phone is completely cracked on the front. So I said to them, really sorry about the cracked screen, and Dan went, you did a fill, didn't you? And I was like, basically, yeah. Once that was done, it was the end of my 30 seconds with Dan and Phil. It literally went so quickly. I felt like it was over in about five seconds, but obviously it was more like 30 seconds to a minute, but I'm so happy that I met them, and I'm glad I ended up getting VIP tickets for that show. After you've met Dan and Phil, you get given your VIP swag bag, and then you can just stay in the room, sit and chat, um, help yourself to Maltesers they had there, and water, and anything else really, which is what me and Katie decided to do. And then I realised as I was going through my bag that I couldn't find my ticket, or my Oyster card, or my lipstick I'd brought with me. It was then I had the feeling that I'd left it in my book, because when I had my book open to get it signed, I remember having my ticket and Oyster card and everything else kind of in it. Turns out when I gave them my artwork, I also gave them half my stuff as well, so I had to go up to the girl at the front and be like, really odd question, but I've got a feeling I've gave Dan and Phil, my stuff, when I gave them my artwork. Turns out they'd been looking for me because they'd found it when they were like rooting through stuff and I got all my stuff back. By this point they'd already opened the upstairs merch store which we could get access to so I decided to buy the Amazing Tour Is Not On Fire t-shirt which is the black one with them on the front and all the tour dates on the back. This is actually the only thing I bought from the merch stand because you get most of it in the VIP swag bag, which I'll show you at the end of this video in case none of you want to be spoiled by what's in the VIP bag. Obviously, I'm not going to give you any spoilers, but the show itself is absolutely amazing. My mind was blown the entire way through. It's the funniest thing I've seen all year, and it's just so them that I wasn't, don't know what I expected, but I was definitely overwhelmed by the entire experience. After the show I was lucky enough to catch up with Martin and Cornelia which I was really happy about because I'd actually done them some artwork as well. So I went over to meet them, I was so overwhelmed from the show I was definitely not coherent with sentences at all, I was kind of just like, the show it was so good, can I get a picture? Luckily they seemed fine with my massive overwhelmness and incoherentness. Got a picture, absolutely love it and then after that, it was time to go back to my hotel. I didn't manage to catch up with Katie after the show, which was a bit of a bummer, but hopefully I'll see her again soon. And yeah, that's my tatted off experience, basically. I'm now gonna show what comes in the VIP swag bag, so if you don't wanna see that, then skip over the next, like, 
30 seconds to a minute of this video. This is what the bag looks like. It is black and it has in gold, the amazing tour is not on fire on one side. And on the other side, it says, I actually went outside to see Dan and Phil on tour. I love these tote bags. I have one from Sitsi that I have worn to death. Now inside the bag, you get a poster, which is the official tour poster. And it looks like that. So it's just got them on it and the amazing tour is not on fire. Next up, you get this free book, which is from Penguin and it's called Love Sick. And it's just filled with little sketches and drawings about love. I haven't had a chance to look at this yet properly, but I'm quite excited to have a little read. In this bag, you do also get a flower crown, but Katie didn't get one in her bag, and I already have one since somewhere in the city, so I gave her my flower crown. And then the final thing you get is the little black wristband that says, the amazing tour is not on fire, and it has VIP written on it, which I think is the coolest thing ever. So that's everything from my tatting off experience. If you've enjoyed the video, remember to give it a thumbs up and click subscribe to make sure you're the first to know when my next video is, and I shall see you guys soon. Bye!